My name's Hillary, and for my research presentation, I'm actually doing a paper presentation over ancient Greek actors. Um, when we were first given this assignment, and I was thinking about what I really wanted to do, I thought that I really wanted to talk about costumes and masks, but I feel like so many of us have already researched costumes and research masks and I wanted to um, do something that I didn't know a whole lot about or that I just I wanted to learn more about and that is why I chose ancient Greek actors um, I thought they were pretty cool so for my presentation I actually want to share with you guys a few things that um, I learned about ancient Greek actors um, I know that like me Many of you probably think about actors as people like Channing Tatum or um, Reese Witherspoon. And honestly, that's what I think about. I hardly ever think about actors as on-stage actors unless I'm watching um, something like Tyler Perry. And for this presentation, I actually am going to lean a little bit more towards the Tyler Perry on-stage plays. So, um... When I watch a Tyler Perry um, play, it's so crazy to me to think about all the different things that go into making that play. You have to um, have all the different actors, they have to learn their lines, um, and when it's viewed live, if they mess up, then they just mess up. There is no stop and start, and you have to go in and you have to build the set. And I think about um, plays in ancient Greek times, and I wonder if they had things that hard. And then I stop and I think about it, and they actually probably had a harder time than we do. Um, because as most of us know, um, in ancient Greek theater, there were only three actors. Now, I know um, usually now when we see a play, there's 10 or 12 actors, and then there are um, some extras in there. But, as I said in ancient Greek time, there were only those three actors. And it's actually crazy that um, when they first started out, there was only one actor. Um, and then eventually there was another one added. And then finally, um, there was a third actor added, and that's where we're at and I know that when I think about um, Tyler Perry plays it's really important to me to um, distinguish between a male and a female and to know um, which part is which but in ancient Greek times you didn't have that you just have a male who is playing the female part and um, it was actually really hard for men then because um, men had to wear these wooden shoes and actually made them taller so that um, they looked more feminine, I guess, and they had to wear um, longer robes. And they also had to wear, um, or some of them had to wear these, like, I guess, paddings on the front that um, made them seem more feminine and actually symbolized female body parts. And another um, major thing that actors had to deal with were the masks that they wore and as I said I know a lot of us have already researched masks and done things with masks and um, we all know that masks were really important in that time anyway but when it came to men playing female parts um, they were increasingly important then um, so that they could distinguish between whether um, they were playing a male or a female now um, another thing is when I think about actors now, I think about Hollywood, and I think about a ton of money, and I think about popularity and being at the top of the hierarchy. But when I think about ancient Greek actors, um, I never thought about things such as that. But when I was doing my research, one article that I found actually said, um, in Greece after the 14th century BCE and in Rome, um, acting became increasingly linked with um, fiction and deception and that the actors actually developed an iconic status and they accumulated great wealth and to me that's just crazy to think about and it also said um, that the actors during that time 
were seen to be incredibly powerful. And um, I don't know much about ancient Greek times other than um, what I've been studying in this class these past few weeks. Um, but I feel like in times back then, you know, power and wealth were incredible, incredible things. And um, it's just hard for me, I guess, to um, wrap my head around that actors were that important and actors were that high up because now when I think about being high up I think about things such as the president or the government but not actors. Actors are just famous people with a lot of money but they're not exactly powerful per se. Um, now another thing is that nowadays when we see plays we see um, tragedies, we see dramas, comedies, we see romances, or, you know, we just see everyday, day-to-day -day plays about pretty much anything. Um, but in ancient Greek theater, there were usually tragedies or comedies. And I know that all of us know um, what a tragedy is. Um, it was based on mythology or history and it dealt with the, um, the way the, I guess, the character saw life and um, saw the nature of their gods and things like that. And um, tragedies were, you know, they were pretty gruesome. And when I think about a tragedy now, I think about death or something really heartbreaking. And it's, it's just really hard for me to think about um, experiencing that. Um, with only three actors and um, another type of play that they did were comedies and I know that we all know that um, you know comedies are funny and um, you know they're pretty laid back and just hysterical and um, in ancient Greek theater comedy was really important and um, they don't really know where comedy originated from, but they, they're pretty sure that, um, it's based on imitations, and, um, there are actually not a lot of comedies or tragedies that are, have survived from, um, Greek theater, but the few that have, um, I think are still pretty popular, and one of those being Antigone, which I'm pretty sure that all of us have read. So, um, for that, I just want to say, you know, when you think about actors in ancient great times, um, I hope that you think about, uh, or you think about it a little more deeply now, as I know that I will, because um, I have a whole new insight, I guess, and I just, I learned a lot about them, and basically I just thought that um, actors were people, and in times like that, they just jumped up on stage and acted things out, I never realized that um, there was a whole background to it, just like there is now with the wealth and the, um, I guess, the social status and not so much the powerfulness now as it was back then. But it's just crazy to me to see that um, actors back then had so much influence um, in their social status and things. And then they had, or ancient Greek theater had so much influence on um, how we see theater today. So, um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this class as much as I did, and I hope that you guys learned a few things in my presentation. Thanks.